Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide the following polynomials. In the first example, I have divide 6x squared minus 7x minus 4 by 3x plus 1. Writing that, I have it as 6x squared minus 7x minus 4 divided by 3x plus 1. When dividing, you start with the first term of your expression, which is 6x squared. You're going to divide by 3x using the method divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down 6x squared divided by 3x will give us 3a1, 3a2, applying the laws of exponents, x squared divided by x will be x2 minus 1, which is x. So therefore, 3x in 3x squared will give us 2x. The next step is to multiply. We're going to multiply 2x by the expression 3x plus 1. So we have 2x multiplying 3x plus 1 will give us 3x times 2x, 6x squared, 2x times 1, plus 2x. So I'm going to rewrite that at the bottom. 6x squared plus 2x. The next step is to subtract. We have the terms or the expression at the top, subtracting the expression at the bottom. Starting with our first term, 6x squared minus 6x squared, that will give us 0. Then we have minus 7x minus plus 2x. So we have minus 7x minus plus 2x. That will be minus 7x minus 2x, which is minus 9x. So this is going to give us minus 9x. After subtracting, we bring down the next term which is minus 4. Then we go back to the loop, divide. We have minus 9x divided by 3x. If we have minus 9x divided by 3x plus divided by minus, that's minus 9 divided by 3. We have that as 3x divided by x, that's 1, that cancels out. So we have minus 9x divided by 3 giving us minus 3. The next step is to multiply minus 3. I'm going to erase this. Times 3x plus 1 will give us minus 3 is going to multiply all the terms in a bracket. We have minus 9x minus 3. So writing that here we have minus 9x minus 3. The next step is to subtract. We have a minus here. Minus 9x minus minus 9x. What is going to happen is the minus here multiplies the minus in the bracket, becomes a plus. So we have minus 9x plus 9x, which will give us 0. So we have this as 0. Likewise, minus 4 minus minus 3 will give us minus 4 plus 3, which is minus 1. So we have minus 1. There's no other term to bring down, so we are done, such that our quotient, after dividing, is equal to 2x minus 3, and our remainder equals minus 1, as shown. Let's look at another example. In the second example, we have divide 6x to the power 4 minus 7x to the power 3 minus 12x squared plus 3x plus 2 by 2x squared plus x minus 1. I'm going to rewrite that. So using the long division method, I've written the process but decide the steps to follow. That's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then repeat the steps again. We're going to start dividing using our first terms as shown. So we have 6x4 divided by 2x squared. 
we have two year one, two year three, all numbers three or a coefficient. Then we have x4 divided by x2, applying the laws of exponent, that will be x4 minus 2, that will give us x squared. So going back, we have 2x squared in 6x4, 3x squared. The answer we have, going to the next step, we are going to multiply all the terms, the three terms, by 3x squared. So we have 3x squared times 2x squared, that will give us 6x4. Let me work it out by this side so you understand better. So we have 3x squared multiplying 2x squared plus x minus 1. So the 3x squared is going to multiply all the terms and that will give us 6x4 plus 3x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2. So we're writing that here. We have 6x4 plus 3x cubed minus 3x squared. The next step is to subtract. So we have the expressions at the top minus the expressions at the bottom. So 6x4 minus 6x4, that will give us 0 minus 7x cubed minus 3x cubed that will be minus 10x cubed then we go to minus 12x squared minus minus 3x squared because of the double minus minus times minus is positive so we are going to have minus 12x squared plus 3x squared and that will give us minus 9x squared then we have plus 3x minus 0, plus 3x, and the constant remains the same, 2 minus 0 is 2. The next step is to take the first term here, we have that as minus 10x3 divided by 2x squared. Minus 10x3 divided by 2x squared will give us minus 10x cubed over 2x squared, minus divided by plus minus 2 in 10 5 x3 divided by x2 laws of exponent that will give us x to the power of 1 so we have that as minus 5x the minus 5x is going to multiply all the terms we have here so that will be minus 5x times 2x squared that will give us minus 10x cubed. We go to the second term, minus 5x times x, minus 5x squared. Minus 5x times minus 1 will give us positive 5x. The next step, we subtract minus 10x cubed, minus minus 10x cubed. That's going to change to positive, so this is going to give us 0. And we have minus 4x squared minus minus 5x squared that is positive so it's minus 9 plus 5 and that will give us minus 4x squared then we have 3x minus 5x that's minus 2x and our constant remains the same 2 minus 0 is 2 then we go back again and divide minus 4x squared by 2x squared what that is going to give us is to i'm going to write it at the top that's minus two and if we go to the next step multiplying minus two times two x squared that'll be minus four x squared minus two times plus x minus two x minus two times minus one that's plus two and if we subtract this we're going to have minus four plus four zero plus minus 2 plus 2 0 plus 2 minus 2 0 therefore the quotient after dividing is 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 and a remainder as shown
is equal to zero. Thanks for watching. Bye.